Hello and welcome back to Practical Knife Reviews. Today we have a vintage knife for you. This is a Richards from Sheffield fishing knife with uh, the graphic RCMP, which of course is Royal Canadian Mounted Police Canada. And you can see there's a little Mountie right there. And we have what is a uh, faux abalone on the backside. So this knife, uh, as I said, is vintage. My grandfather gave it to me. Um, I believe he got it from a trip up to Canada. We live very close to Canada. And uh, he got it probably in the 70s or 80s sometime. So let's open this up. We see we have a nice clip blade right here, which has been reground. Uh, most of that was done by me because frankly, the edge on this was, was terrible. And we can see on the tang stamp here, let's see. Richards Sheffield with a, a light post. So that's the blade. And what makes this a fish knife is this tool here, which is a bottle opener, a fish descaler, and a hook degorger. So for descaling your fish and for removing the hook if the fish swallows the hook, plus opening any bottles that you might have out when you go fishing. So Richards is a company that originally started in Solingen, Germany. It was uh, one of the cheaper knife brands from Solingen. Um, really not the highest quality. It was just a kind of a touristy, cheap knife. And the Richards Brothers, which uh, was not their original name, that was their Angl Angl anglicized name. Uh, after having some success in Solingen, they moved their company over to Sheffield, England, and did basically the exact same thing, making a pretty cheap, uh, knives oriented towards tourists. So, Laura, what do you think of this knife aesthetically? It's really neat. Um, the picture looks very vintage, which is cool, and I really like the backside of the knife. Backside meaning the uh, the faux abalone or mother of pearl. Yes. Yep. So here we've got uh, these these scales are just shell scales. Um, they're crimped down on the top and on the bottom. And actually one of them was extremely loose. Let's see, it was this side. This side was very loose um, because the crimping had kind of come come out a little bit. So I just took a pair of needle nose pliers and recrimped it and now it's pretty tight again. Uh, and as I said, when I got this knife, the edge needed a, a fair amount of work. So I did do some considerable regrinding on this to get it back into uh, cutting shape. So what do you think, Larry? Should we do some, some cutting first or some measurements? Let's do some measurements. All right, so we'll take a weight measurement first. Let's bring our scale out. Okay, we'll drop that on there. We see it's 96 grams or 3.4 ounces. So it's a pretty light knife, which you would expect with these shell scales. Um, definitely not anything luxurious, but you know, they get the job done. And for a souvenir knife, that's really all you need. So let's get this so that it's in frame. So we're gonna take a measurement here. Closed, it is approximately four and a half inches long. Opened and again, this is with the regrinding. It would have been just slightly longer without the regrinding. It's right about eight inches long. The blade is about uh, three and a quarter inches of cutting length, three and a half inches total in length. So you get three and a half inches. It's about uh, an ounce an inch, which yeah is a pretty good, uh, pretty good weight for for the size. Now let's do some quick uh, cutting tests. Here, we'll start off with paper just to see if uh, you know you can get the knife sharp and well that should answer that. Um, it was very very dull before and there was a fair amount of edge damage on it but after regrinding it we can cut through that paper no problem. Now let's go through some cardboard. Not that you would necessarily be EDCing a fish knife but just in case you were, let's see how we can go through the cardboard. Very little effort, it cuts right through. So with that regrind, um, it, it goes right through. 
Don't know how long that steel will hold an edge for, but if you're using this for fish, um, I've used this knife a little bit, you'll definitely have enough edge holding for filleting any fish that you would be catching out. Uh, and the other thing to note, there is a half stop on this blade, which is something that I like. Also a half stop on the descaler and degorger. So now that we've taken some uh, quick looks at this knife, we're gonna take it out and do some light tasks with that. So here we are taking a look at the Sheffield, or the, sorry, Richard's from Sheffield uh, fishing knife again, the RCMP knife. And just to preface this, this, this again was a very cheap knife when it came out and you can still find Richard's knives on eBay for uh, around ten dollars or so if you if you look hard enough so let's see how we do with uh, peeling an apple and then some light feather sticking again not what you would typically do with a fish knife but let's just say that you were edcing this because you were planning on going fishing later in the day or maybe you just like having the uh i don't know let's just say you just like the knife and wanted to carry it on you so we can see well we saw in the first video how sharp it is and with the reworked edge this edge is super thin and we're able to get under the peel very easily. And as I preface in every single video we do this on, I'm not the best peeler using a knife because I just don't peel my apples very often. But we can see that, I mean, there's no effort. It's coming right through. So we're gonna stop there. And now we're gonna do just some light feather stick. So let's grab a piece of pine, white pine, very soft wood. And we can see that it is sharp, it's thin, it'll go in pretty easy. Not the greatest feather sticks in the world, but I mean, look how easy I'm making them. Let's try a different edge. Once you get that initial one off. Again, not the best feather sticks in the world, but they're coming really easy. You could do this for a few minutes and have a bunch of feather sticks. So that's pine, that's the easy test. The harder test is gonna be how we do on this red elk here. Let's find an edge that I can use. Let's try right here. So here the curls are actually better. Whoops, except I knocked them all off. The curls are better than they are on the pine and we're still going through pretty easy. Um, it's hard to go with long strokes on this one. It is just a slip joint after all, but with these short strokes, we're able to get very nice curls without pushing too hard. So this knife actually works pretty well for feather sticking, especially considering it's a very inexpensive knife and it's a fish knife. I mean, we're looking at a slip joint fish knife here. I'm not gonna, I don't have a fish here to test this with, but it's not the sharpest descaler I've seen or used, but you'll definitely be able to descale a fish with this. And the degorger of course is also useful. So, Laura, what are your overall thoughts on this knife? As you can see, the scale is still a little bit loose. I mentioned earlier that I had tightened it. I've got to go back in and tighten it a little bit more, but that's just the nature of the beast, these uh, cheap shell handles like this. It's an interesting knife. It's, it's pretty vintage looking, cool. It's a nice one for the collection. Um, not necessarily one that I would use, but I do like it. Sure. Although if you were going fishing, this would definitely be one that um, would come in handy. I mean, if you didn't want to bring a, a Filet knife, specific filet knife. This uh, really thin edge here, nice clip point, definitely can filet fish with that. And again, you get your other tools, everything that you would want on a, a day on the lake or on a boat. Got a bottle opener, descaler, and a degorger. So that's our look at the Richards from Sheffield Fish Knife, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Um, more or less a souvenir knife, but you know, if you put a little work into it to make sure that you've got your edge nice, yeah, it's a nice knife. And uh, for the price, it's a nice little vintage piece. So thanks for watching and see you next time.